Hi, it's Kyle from Bytewing Games, and today we're doing an exciting unboxing of our newest game, Bebop, designed by Robert Hovakimian. Um, and I'm stoked for it because I've seen all the pictures and I've seen what it's supposed to look like, but to actually unbox it is really exciting, and for you to be able to see what's inside the box and what it looks like and kind of an overall description of the game. So let's take a look inside. All right, opening up the box, we have inside the rule book. Nice linen finish. Um, how to play video, I haven't made that yet, so scan that and it will take you nowhere. Um, but we've got a bunch of examples in here showing how to play the game, what it's all about. Um, examples of what it's going to look like at the end of the game. Um, some expansion-y type material, just some stuff to add on some variability, not for your first game. And some music you can listen to if you're looking for some jazz music um, as we go throughout the game. Um, and so there's the rule book. Jumping into the more exciting things. Number one, oh my gosh, that is so many dice. I have been so excited to see these cute little dice. And there's so many of them that you'll be using. These will be your fans throughout the game um, that want to listen to keys or um, drums or other instruments, brass instruments. Um, anyway, so a bunch of dice here with different fans and different things that they want. Um, speaking of those fans, the fans as they get into big groups or families, the largest group. Um, we'll get this little symbol next to them right on the board. Um, there's little counters here so that you can keep track of your score um, for the four different colors of players. There is a dice bag so that you can store all this dice, all the dice in this adorable bag right here and be able to pull them out. You'll be drafting dice throughout the game, pulling dice out and placing them on the board so that you can um, select dice that you want to play out there. There are player aids, which double as player screens. If you're playing with fewer players, you can hide your information, um, since that's a little more important in a fewer player game. Um, but there's also some player screens right here that double as um, screens, or just help cheat sheets. So you got one of those for each of the four colors here. Moving on, we have all the punch boards and a bunch of bags to store everything. Um, we have the punch boards with the different types of instruments here and some of the special star features. These are your seats. So yes, throughout the game you'll be placing these and let's just pull out the board. This is the part I'm honestly most excited for. I know the board's not always the most exciting, but I love the art. And this thing is big. I didn't know it was going to be quite this big. I kind of knew, but like seeing it in person is awesome. Um, so here's the board right here. So yeah, throughout the game, you'll be placing these seats here on the board um, next to the bands that they want to listen to. And so maybe you say, this stage has keys. So you have some fans that want to listen to keys. And so you will place your fans into seats right here next to the keys. And as you get bigger and bigger groups, you'll be able to place this little thing standing up here. I'll set it down just so you can see. Um, place those next to big groups of people as you get more and more people listening to these bands on these all these stages throughout the board. Um, so yeah, so a whole bunch of different tokens here you'll be placing on um, all the different seats that you have and lots of them have special abilities. Everyone has five special ability tokens that they'll be able to use. Um, and there's the board. The one thing I haven't shown yet is the back side of the board. Um, we hate to waste board space and have just a blank board, so we said, can you design a second board? And Robert did, and this is what it looks like, a nice space themed if you're looking for something a little bit different. I um, you got the score tracker on the outside and a way to tally how many points you get for placing your people next to instruments. So this is what the board looks like on side number two. Now, if you're thinking, but isn't there some way, like these tokens are nice, but they're just cardboard cutouts. Wouldn't it be awesome if we had some better, more fancy tokens? And we thought the same thing. So we have some special wood tokens here. This is an upgrade um, you can get, but um, just a little bit thicker um, wood things right here. And then they're going to be wood pieces that you will place on the board instead of the cardboard cutouts. Um, so you could have a brass instrument here on this stage um, instead of just the cardboard cutouts, just to have a little bit thicker pieces on the board there. So these are, like I said, the expansion, that, um, or an upgrade 
for more deluxe tiles. All right, so here is board number three and four. If you want even more variety to the game, you can add this on as well, which will just have um, different methods of playing. So you're still playing the game the same way, putting the things out and doing the same thing, but the scoring and some of the methods will be a little bit different, adding some variety to the game. So there are the two additional possible boards that you can get. Um, and that is everything in Bebop. Stoked about the boards, stoked about the dice. Um, I think that's awesome just to see a ton of dice in here. Look at all those. Whew. Okay, and that is Bebop.